will catch the ovum. Well, we have the ducts to catch the ovum. Do you see this? Called as OV ducts or fallopian tubes. With me on this. So, the ducts which are going to carry the egg which is produced, ovum which is produced here, ovum which is produced here, these ducts are going to carry it. Okay. So, those are called fallopian tubes and they connect. Fallopian tubes connect. Do you see the connect here? Let me just change the pen. Yeah. They are a connection between the ovary and the womb of the mother or uterus. Womb of the mother is self-explanatory. Here the child is going to grow. Zygote is going to grow, my children, in uterus. But before that, a lot has to happen. Coming together of male and female gametes. Ovum is produced here. It has to travel. The zygote has to form. And finally, it will reach the womb. So, all those intermediate steps, where do they happen? Let's know that. So, this fallopian tube approximately is 10 to 20 centimeter. 10 to 20 centimeter in length. You don't have to remember that. But very, very important thing, important for your exam, important for your board exam, very, very important for your need exam are the parts of the fallopian tube, the structure of the fallopian tube. So, how we are going to do it is, first you will listen to ma'am. Then you will pick up your pens because ma'am always repeats. Whenever something important, she just keeps repeating. And that is when you write. Okay? So, with me. Now, children, it is very easy. This ovary is going to produce the ovum. We want something to trap the ovum. We want something to catch the ovum. Very precisely. Broadly, we said it is fallopian tube. But which part of fallopian tube catches it? Are these grasps? Are these trapping structures? Fingers rather, finger-like projection called as fimbre. It was written here. Fimbre. Okay. So, they are going to grasp the uh, ovum and well carry it to the funnel-shaped portion called infundibulum. This is the first part of the OV duct. Just listening. My children are just listening. Don't get restless. I'll give you time to write. I am equally emotional about writing important points as you are. My heart is all for writing. Because biology is studied like that. Now, but we have to do it in a, in a scheme. Once again, if somebody will ask you what is the first part of fallopian tube, it is infundibulum. Fimbrae are the projections from the infundibulum. They are a part of this funnel-shaped trumpet-like structure. This looks like a trumpet. Okay. Now, after infundibulum, once the egg has reached here, my children, let me change the color. We just love colors, don't we? So, once the egg has reached this infundibulum, owing to fimbrae, there comes the ampulla. Now, listen, very important. Ampulla has very thin walls. Okay, as a result of which ampulla has a wide lumen. You have understood the term lumen 100 times in class 11th. It is the space between the walls. It is the cavity. So now ampulla is said to be the widest and the longest portion. Nope, nope. Control the urge to write. Just listening to ma'am. Widest and longest portion of OV duct. Question number one. Question number two, in ampulla, the fertilization will happen. In ampulla, the fertilization that is coming together of ovum and sperm will happen. Yes, ma'am. Previous year question, after ampulla, it's a very narrow area called isthmus. The word isthmus in English means the Isthmus is usually the structure that is adjoining. This is the midpoint. Isthmus is definitely, truly a 
adjoining or a midpoint between the uterus here and the fallopian tube isthmus is going to go and open or attach to the uterus it is connecting the fallopian tube ov duct okay and the uterus the womb where the final plantation at this point we can call it just the plantation where we have to place the baby with me on this not with me pick up your pens you're going to be with me now i'm going to repeat it now you can pick up your pens so we have the ovary here ovary produces the ovum here the first part of fallopian tube is in fundibulum with fimbrae with fimbrae the next part is ampulla second part is ampulla i'll just drink some water yeah it is the widest please write it widest and longest portion it's written right in front of you and it is the site of fertilization and it is the site of fertilization the third portion you have to be quick isthmus attaches opens into uterus very good now what do ov ducts do i don't have to tell you it's quite clear they carry the ovum from ovary to the uterus that's why they are called tubes or ducts they are hollow tubes fertilization of ovum aha comes here very very important do you see that happening yeah see look at the egg traveling look at the narrow isthmus and finally the destination is the uterus 